Hello and welcome to uh, um, another episode on what tactics and especially on the comedy of horrors. Uh, with these, this series I want to show battles where things just went wrong and it didn't, they didn't just go wrong because of my mistakes, they went wrong because of horrible mistakes by my teammates. And I think it's worth showing them because at least you can learn about what not to do on World of Tanks. Now, <laughs> we're on the um, Fjords map and I'm on the VK2001D. Now, unfortunately, I'm a low tier, uh, very low tier. I'm against tier 6 and a few tier, tier 5. In fact, on my team, I am the only um, tier 4 together with a Matilda and uh, the rest of the team it's um, uh, tier 5s that, actually, that should give us an advantage because the enemy has got several uh, tier 4s has got 4 rather than just 2 like in our case because the VK-20 is not uh, doesn't have a very powerful gun and doesn't also have much armor and it's uh, a bit more um, it's a kind of uh, uh, halfway between a light tank and a medium tank is fairly agile I decided to go up uh, this side of the map right there and then have a clean run at the base all our, enemy, all, our all our allies are along this line the enemy is all concentrated on uh, this side of the map so I get the feeling that we can have an easy run on the on, on their base by just taking it down here in fact there is nobody as you can see nobody from the enemy team came here uh, I've got some good company, uh, uh, which is a Chaffee, which is brilliant, uh, because it's a, a light tank with a very good view range and a very good gun, and is also very agile. So the two of us together can actually do some good stuff here, and it's brilliant. There is no enemies whatsoever. I um, kind of just sit back a little bit, just making sure that um, uh, I can spot uh, any enemies that might be hiding but there is absolutely nobody there excellent we are also winning 5-2 this is brilliant all we have to do now is see I was trying to avoid the um, getting into the circle because I don't want the enemy to know we're already here but anyway all we have to do is take out the artillery and it's done now Ready to fire. okay but unfortunately I got destroyed. Now, was that my mistake? I don't know. Possibly. Uh, I did move though, after I destroyed that artillery, so I wasn't doing the wrong thing. Uh, probably just very unlucky. Never mind. Okay, at least I destroyed one. And we're winning 11 6. Uh, but hang on a minute. The enemy has got three, I mean, three heavy tanks. And what is that Chaffee doing? I mean, why are you not capping the base? At this time in the battle, I am furiously typing on the chat, Chaffee, cap, cap. Why? Because there are three enemy tanks still alive and we've got none. Instead, he starts this duel with the bishop, which is bad news because the bishop is actually well armoured, but he managed to take it down and I think, okay, now he will go and cap. He's only got 21% and instead what's he doing? He is engaging with that TOG. This is not looking good at all. Why are they not capping? Um, uh, all right, we, we got, um, we, got uh, uh, we destroyed the TOG too. Why are they not capping? Look, the team is completely all on the wrong side and they're all going away from the enemy base and all you have to do is go in the circle and cap because those two heavy tanks the KV-85 and the KV-2 which is a major threat are too far away all you have to do is cap so finally the Chaffee gets the message and he comes back there he is and hopefully he's gonna go and cap is he gonna go and cap? okay but wait a minute the KV-85 is coming back and he's also destroyed the T-34 now is the Chaffee gonna stay in the cup? yeah 
The problem is, he left it too late. And because there's only him capping, it takes a long time. If he had done that before, if you started a cap whilst the uh, heavy tanks were engaged by our allies, he would have been safe. Instead, look at what happens now. He's waiting. The artillery arrives, but also so does the KV-85. And that is really, really bad news because a Chaffee at 21% has no chance against the KV-85. And watch this. Right. Maybe the artillery will take out the KV-85? I very much doubt it. In fact, the opposite is going to happen. Missed the shot. The other artillery also missed the shot. Uh, remember, we now only have a Su-100 that we could define as a proper tank. Everything else is just SPGs. And that KV-85 is just about to destroy the artillery. Okay, he's taking his um, he's taking his uh, his uh, uh, health down, but now he has to reload, and of course the KV-85 has got all the time to go around the building and destroy the artillery. Can we still win? Possibly, especially if that Su-85 or Su-100 does a good job. They're both at the base now. Misses the shot terribly. and then gets destroyed by the KV-2. The KV-2 gets destroyed by the artillery, so it's still a bit balanced now, but what I don't like about this is that KV-85. Five kills, it's not a bad player. Yes, he's only got 143 uh, hit points left, but with five kills, it shows that he's not a bad player, he's, he knows what he's doing, and is I'm sorry, but he's more likely to destroy the artillery then the artillery to destroy him. However, the good thing about the artillery is that they are both together. So they have this opportunity, um, because there's two of them and they're together, they could actually defend themselves better. However, it would actually work best, it w would work better if they actually were separate from each other. That way, if one of them gets spotted, the other one doesn't and actually has a chance to hit the KV-85. Instead, what do they do? They stay together. I don't think that's a good uh, a, a good move, especially with two SPGs. Because if it was two medium tanks or even two light tanks, one uh, they could both engage the, the 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 heavy tank at the same time and have a chance of victory. Instead, they stay together. But why are they moving? You see, this is the point. You are an artillery. You're very slow at moving. You haven't got much ability in fighting. So just stay by the base because obviously the KV-85 is either going to come and look for you or is going to um, capture the base. Now watch what happens here. I mean already this this battle could have been won ages ago if only that Chaffee had captured the base. Um, now there's two of them going for the kill at the base. They're obviously going to reset but I would imagine they would just go for the kill because at the end of the day only one shot is enough. This approach is actually not too bad. They're approaching from two separate directions. So that's not a bad thing. And then, the AMX-13 actually spots the KV-85. The grill is a little bit too high, in my opinion. It might not be able to actually have a good shot from there. But it's spotted, and the AMX doesn't fire. Oh, he finally fires misses the grill also misses so you're there thinking come on not even splash damage and what is the grill doing now is actually reversing why you know where it is just reload take a good aim and go for it eventually he does he spotted again no stop stop what are you doing no the kv-85 is not even looking at you turn and shoot Shoot! 
Now! Shoot now! What are you doing? I can't believe this. You, I gotta watch this again. Let's just watch this in slow motion. The grill is reloading, obviously. So he's taking cover. He's reloaded now, so he's ready for the shoot. Is he ready? Okay. He now tries to move a bit forward. Now, this is what I would have stopped. I would have just gone a little bit forward. There, he spotted it. All you have to do from me, from here, the KV-85 cannot hit you. Just turn your tank around a little bit, aim, shoot, and destroy him. Yes, you've only got a few seconds, about 10 seconds to do it. But even splash damage might just be enough. It's just enough to reset it. All you have to do is reset the cap. That's all you have to do. You don't have to destroy it. Just reset the cap. And then you can take the time to destroy it later. That will Resetting the cap will buy you another minute and 30 seconds for you to reload, reposition. You can do all you want. Instead, it carries on. No, stop there. No, don't. You're also wasting time. You nearly got yourself... Uh, <laughs> completely uh, uh, off 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 your tracks there but what is amazing is just look at this the KV-85 is not even looking it's not even looking at the artillery easy prey look at that it's not even turning his turret he's probably has not noticed that the artillery is there I reckon he, the, the, the grill hadn't been spotted all you have to do is stand there turn the tank you've only got two seconds to go plus the five the little the four or five seconds at the end of the countdown all you have to do is turn your tank around a little bit engage auto aim at the center and just shoot and instead he carries on why are you carrying on why are you carrying on just stop turn the tank and shoot i cannot believe what i'm watching i just cannot believe the kv-85 has now spotted the artillery is uh, is reversing to get out of the field of fire he's turning the turret towards the uh, grill and what do you think is going to happen boom defeat i cannot believe this game we went from a clear victory where we had numerical superiority on the battlefield we had a chaffee uh, in good health or at least half his health by the enemy base with no artillery, enemy artillery nearby, no enemies nearby apart from a TOG that, and a, that was like sort of there. He could have started the cap and probably would have been very successful at it. And instead, <coughs> instead, he went on to chase, I don't know what, kills, medals, I don't know what. Managed to get his HP down reduced a lot. He burned precious time that could have been used for capping. Went for capping too late eventually got destroyed the artillery which shouldn't have been there in the first place also went to try and cap and made a mistake made a whole mess of it the su 100 was way too too far also missed his own shots and in the end the two artilleries which could have actually gotten rid of the kv-85 together by simply staying where they were at a3 which was their position and just maybe sent one down at b1 that could have spotted the kv-85 trying to cap and the other one stayed a bit more safely at a3 either of them would have got the kv-85 with just one shot it would have been game over and we would have won instead we managed to lose this one mistake after another but the biggest mistake was not capping at the right time it had that chaffee capped at the right time we would have avoided this um, awful comedy of horrors and this will be a victory thank you for watching